Hello YouTube, another Suzuki Carry 1998 video. There's how many miles we've got on there. Got a new stereo put in here, head unit anyway. Uh, does all kinds of stuff. Sounds a lot better with my uh, Scorch little sides there. Got one on the other driver door. Got my little scent buddy that helps the truck to smell nice. I uh, showed you the uh, lamp last time. Microphone's right here. That way you got the hands free talking when you're driving. Really helps out. I got the new Wanda tires on. They're 25 inch by 8 inch by 12 inch rim. And they are wonderful. I am really impressed with them. Very quiet compared to my last tires. Which were the Black Diamonds. And we found out that the Black Diamonds were extremely rough. Uh, really happy with these Wandas. They don't, they don't allow you to get stuck like some of the other tires. It's got some pretty aggressive tread. The tread depth is, uh, almost at the tip of my index finger. Let's see here. Pull up here and I'll go a lot quieter. Bump. Gotta love it, right? So, I've been having trouble finding a few parts to this thing. Uh, not too much trouble, just a little bit. I've noticed that a lot of people don't carry the tie rod ends, they don't carry the tie rod adjustments. Uh, there's a few other things they don't carry for them. Uh, I did notice that it seems to be cheaper to buy a big kit of everything than it does to do anything else with it. There's a picture of the little Wanda's there. You know, like I said, they got pretty aggressive tread. Really like them. The good paddles. Got my front headlights there, fog lights. They work out great at night. Very adjustable. I keep them slightly loose. You know, just enough to where I can reach up and adjust them slightly, but they're not going to get knocked around too much whenever the trees and things catch them. So, we'll, uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a 0 to 60 in these because. The Wanda's, that I'm inside of uh, my park, but the Wanda tires are not made really to go that fast. I don't think the tires are, these things, it, you're not going to go that fast in here. There's a little mini truck, 60 horsepower, maybe less because it's older. Uh, put some new spark plugs in it, change a few other small things. I've not taken off the mud flaps yet, but you hear the motor more than anything. And I've noticed that it kind of depends on the lean with these. Uh, having a hard time with the passenger side tire. It's got a heavy lean that I can't seem to take out. I've tried adjusting everything up top I uh, keep adjusting the front end and adjusting the front end and I get it close and I can do you know all my speeds with it but I'm, it's still not perfect so once I find some different uh, tie rod ends and put on the originals then I'll uh, then I'll take it into a shop and have it straightened out because there's no point trying to fight with it these 
trucks are really great. I really like the little mini truck. Uh, not too quiet, not too bad. Go just about anywhere. It's a good off-road truck, good little park truck. Uh, good maintenance truck. I see a lot of guys they have got these uh, UTVs, which are great if you want to uh, go off-roading and you know, freeze your ass off in wintertime. Sorry, didn't mean to cuss there. But you don't want to... These things have good, great heaters in them. Love the heater in this thing. Like I said, it does depend on what you're uh, doing, really. I mean, if you're going to be driving fast all over the place, it's not going to be the best heat. You know, I mean, these windows are thin. This metal, thin. Almost feels like plastic sometimes. But, at the same time, if you're creeping around or, you know, going around town or some small town, yeah, that's the sound of, we all know that sound. No, that was not a CV. That was the mud flap. Getting caught on the big wonders. Gotta take it off. And it seems like these motors uh, tend to stay high idle whenever, see now everything has gone down and I can turn that back up and the motor doesn't come right back up. But for the most part, everything's great. I like this truck. It's a good little beastie. Um... Uh, but if you're gonna buy one for farm use or something like that, running your guys around, I would highly suggest it. Uh, so far, I'm looking for a uh, good place to go off-roading to not really test everything, but just to kind of have some fun. I don't want to tear anything up, but just kind of go cruising off-road, I like it. It's a lot more fun than driving on pavement, obviously. Gotta watch them potholes on them gravel roads. But next time I go for a ride, I'll on the off off road or out in the woods, I'll bring YouTube along. Have a good one.